Nurse from Kern County and more than two dozen employees from the California Department of Corrections were honored at the 38th Annual Medal of Valor Ceremony in Elk Grove. 17's Robert Hagen is in studio with more. Rob? That's right, Michaela. Registered nurse Priscilla Rodriguez was awarded the Bronze Star for saving the life of a girl at the Hillcrest Cemetery April 2022. It was all because of her bravery and the life-saving drug Narcan. For 38 years, the California Department of Corrections has honored employees for bravery and service with the annual Medal of Valor ceremony. Lieutenant Larry Faria of Fresno was awarded the Medal of Valor after saving a girl from a burning Prius smashed by a semi July 2022. The girl's father died at the scene. It's heartbreaking. We, we you know, saved her life. However, it'll never be the same. Also this year, 26 workers received bronze, silver, or gold medals for saving lives in the line of duty, including registered nurse Priscilla Rodriguez from the Kern Valley State Prison in Delano. Rodriguez was awarded the bronze star after saving the life of a girl at a cemetery April 2022. The girl was overdosing inside a locked car and not breathing. After the girl's boyfriend flagged down Priscilla Rodriguez with his cell phone, the two smashed the window, pulled the girl out, and started CPR. Hero nurse Priscilla Rodriguez says it was intuition that brought her to the Hillcrest Cemetery that night, saving a life in the process. And she did it by using this, Narcan. And you could save a life too. Narcan blocks the deadly opioids like fentanyl on the brain. It takes effect in three to five minutes and you can get the drug over the counter without a prescription. It can even be used if it's expired, according to the American Pharmacists Association. Narcan comes in a two-dose pack and typically costs about $45. You can get yours for free at the Kern County Library. Because with Narcan, everyone has the power to save a life. For more information on Narcan and where to get yours, just go to the California Department of Public Health's website. In studio, Rob Hagan, 17 News.